Welcome back to the baby. Welcome back to the basement yard. You closing up? I'm closing up. I got to be a little modest bitch. Hmm? I got to be modest. Why? I don't want to give away all my goodies. A white shirt? <laughs> what are you talking about? Yeah, you know, I just want the world to imagine what's underneath my really tight shirt because I've gained some weight. It's a it's a white shirt. Well, Okay, mm -hmm. you're making it. Oh, oh, what well, if you wear a white shirt? It's cool because you got it from fucking Mister Mister Off White NYC or whatever it is. Wow, is that it? Nope. No, who is it? Uh, I don't even know who you're referring Can to. Can I ask you I a know. serious question? Okay. What is the most expensive like bland shirt that you have? Dude, I figured this out the other day, and I can tell you that right now it is horrible. Really? Dude, this was like. I found it the other day. I'll show you a picture of it. It's weird that you're bringing that oh, up. Welcome back. Wait, wait, wait. Welcome back. Wait, wait, wait. Welcome back. Wait, wait, wait. Um, but I, uh, I found, because I just recently, like a couple days ago and like last week, I've been doing it since I like moved in. It's throwing like a bunch don't, of clothes. Donating, donating a bunch, donating of, a bunch clothes. of clothes. So I found Damn, this shirt. Damn, wherever you're donating these clothes, they are probably hype. They're getting like fucking, you know. Sometimes. Like <laughs> Sometimes I'm like, I, this was expensive. Like whose like, Supreme slippers are these? <laughs> I actually have never bought anything from Supreme. I I don't know if I sent this to you, but I I uh, I found this shirt. It's a polo. Okay. And it's from Gucci. Oh, you you did show me this. You did okay. show me this. Yeah. I, Dude, I definitely. don't know why I bought it. Oh, you bought it? Yeah. What do you, what do you think? Gucci sent it to me, dude. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what your relationship with Gucci is. I have zero relationship with the Gucci, <laughs> Frankie. <laughs> no one from Gucci wants you. No. No. Oh, all right. But uh, I bought a, a polo from Gucci. I think this was like bef this was like years ago. It was like four years ago, maybe. Four? Like, no. Five years ago? Joey, too soon. No, no. It was Gucci yeah. four years ago. Four was, years ago was 2019, Joey. Uh, uh, maybe 2018. Um, it may have been 2019. Whoa, that's too soon. I was living in East Elmhurst when this happened, so I bought it then in oh, that house. That's, that's really bad. Yeah, it was horrible. I showed you the picture though, right? Yes, it's. It, yeah, oh yeah, I know. Guys, I it's a seeing. white polo, and the fucking the the, the collar. The collar has like the Gucci colors, and then at the ends that are like here, it's got there's the... squares that have like a tiger's face. Yep. Yeah, listen, me. I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad. Hold on, hold on. How much was it? Seventy bucks. Frankie, <laughs> no. I can tell you this right now. More. Hold on. I want to. I want you to know something. Okay. I just said a Gucci polo, and you said seventy dollars. Yeah. For fun. <laughs> For gigs and shits and shits. Shizzy gigses. Shizzy gigses. Uh, we're gonna go on Gucci.com and see if. Literally anything costs seventy dollars there. Oh, that's. I thought you were saying okay. So more, more than seventy dollars, hundred dollars. Fra Frankie, no. Have you bought anything in ever? <laughs> no, not from Gucci. I, but come I'm, on, Joey. Never, like, seen you never hey, guess. What? Why do I have to get? I no. I've never bought anything from Gucci or Versace or Burberry. So no. Why would I have an understanding as to what any of these things cost? Okay, I'll I'll make it easier for you. Okay. Okay. Is there how many? Is there a two in the front? Two hundred dollars. This isn't the price. <laughs> two hundred dollars. Two hundred fifty dollars. There, Bob. Uh, hold on. I'm gonna I'm gonna do something easy. I'm gonna go to wallets and small accessories, and then we'll go to the smallest thing. Key you can rings find. and key cases. Key rings and key cases. I don't know what a key case is. I don't either. Uh, Let's see. Let's see if we can have some fun here. Well, Gucci's, oh, okay, here. Gucci's like from Europe, and you know all those fucking weirdos over there. They're doing weird stuff with all sorts of things. Keys, uh, you know, biscuits. Okay, here we go. Ready? Yeah. We're on Gucci.com. Yes. These are keychains. With letters, yes. With letters. It just a says A, C, D, E, whatever. It's just key. How where, much is that? Where the fuck is B, bitch? That is true. What the where fuck? the hell? What where happened to B? B? Yeah, where is B? There's no B. Damn, they're kind of... up. That's a little wild. But anyway... Uh, how much is this? It goes on your keychain. It's just a letter. Thirty bucks. Right. Yeah. Three hundred and eighty dollars. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'll click through. Get the fuck out of here. I will click through. I will show you, babe. Is there diamonds on it? I, I, three hundred eighty. Sorry, I was off. I was wrong. It's three hundred eighty dollars. Did I say that? You said three hundred eighty. Oh, I thought you said three hundred. That's three hundred and eighty dollars. Three hundred eighty dollars. Hey, um, aren't all the Gucci's like gone? Aren't they dead or something like that? No, that's the Versace. He's dead too. No, Versace's alive. That what was the movie House of Gucci with Lady Gaga, Adam Driver, and yeah, yeah, Jared Leto? Yeah. Then they all dead. Well, I mean, uh, those those prices will kill somebody. I'll tell you yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. 
And I think you can find you, the exact. So hold on. Right. So you fucking yes, stupid yes, little stupid bitch yes, asshole yeah. <laughs> yeah. You went. All right. So that shirt has got to be. <laughs> Hold All, right. On. All right. Hold the fucking phone. If that's three, if that fucking stupid ass keychain with a single letter on it, I, I I may have sent you into orbit with that. Also, I, I'm trying to find the polo if it's still on the site. I mean, regardless, I I think if that keychain is three hundred and eighty dollars, yeah, that it's a shirt fucking keychain, that shirt has got to be then I I would say four fifty, right? Uh, oh, I found it. I found it. I found the exact, oh, the boy. exact one. Get your size and everything. Size small, just so everyone. <laughs> It's with men that are five six wear. Okay, this is the shirt, right? I, this is a thing that I bought yeah. on the site. Yeah. You said what? Four fifty. I say four fifty. I wish, Frank. Seven <laughs> seven hundred and ten dollars. Are you fucking kidding me? Do you know what I did with this shirt? Never wore it once. Put it in the bag. I just donated it. Dude, someone's gonna be. Someone at Goodwill or Salvation no, Army. No, someone at drop? Goodwill is gonna go. Who the fuck bought this? They're going to say, oh, we're in Brooklyn. Exactly. Fucking asshole pieces of shit that wear backwards hats now. Yeah, no, it was no, not you good. Wore, you wore, I, wore. I went through a thing. I wore it one time. I remember specifically wearing it one time. When? Uh, I think I went. I think I wore it to like a family you Christmas thing. You wore a $710 yeah. shirt Polo, dude. to a family Christmas. Dude, what's wrong with me? You, were, you put your arm around your brother, Keith, and had a $710 shirt on. And Keith was probably wearing yeah. Ten dollar shirt. Yeah, that, that's why like, I like. Keith. But I don't do that. I don't like. That's not. That's no, you you don't do it. You did it though. I did do it. You did do it. Yeah. So you might not currently do it, but you did it. So it happened. What other? I, oh, I don't have anything else. Like I'm that. so glad. I'm so glad. I did do something. I'll do something. I bought. What? I bought. A, I bought a pair of sunglasses the other day. Four hundred dollars less. Okay, that's not. Yeah, they're three hundred twenty. I think. Well, that's not that bad. Yeah. Okay. That's not, honestly, well, sunglasses. I, well, I'm though, saying I don't have like, sunglasses are timeless. Okay. That shirt sucked then, suck now, <laughs> and will suck forever. It's definitely not me at all. Why did I buy that? I don't know. There was no point in my, in have you my ever life. Had, have you ever had a Gucci belt? No. Gucci. Gucci. I have a Gucci. My wallet is Gucci. That sucks, too. How much was that? 250 bucks. 300 bucks, I think. That is so stupid. But it's, it's, it's not. I, yeah, I, I mean, yeah. No. no there is no I've defense. Had, you have no defense. First the all, world is seeing you <laughs> for the douchey. Fucking people ass. have designer stuff. I bet most of the people watching this have way more designer shit than I do. I literally, I have two things. Joey, who do you think are watching this show? Fucking Frankie, the, the, people the, have okay. My sister, normal person. Yes, Joey, your sister designer but, shit. I but I think we've established that your and sister a has women, a taste for more designer stuff. We I've I've known her for quite a long time. There's nothing wrong with it, of course. So but, how could you say that if you don't if you fucking if it's because I am a, I am here sitting across from you and I'm not able to make fun of your sister because she can't defend herself. I can't make fun of the people watching the show because they can't. Defend I'm not themselves. making fun of anyone. I can make fun of you because you're here. You're pathetic and you're <laughs> spending way too much money on a shirt that you've worn once. And guess where it is now. In a fucking donation bin. Yeah, a homeless guy's In a donation bin. Well, good for them. Someone is going to take that shirt, yeah. and they're not going to wear it. They're going to sell it, and yeah. they're going to feed their family I for a month. I hope so. Because you're a fucking elitist prick. I'm not elitist. How am I, How is that elitist? Joey. I donated it. A shirt, $710. That I don't was, have... Frank, I'm an idiot. I'm I not an elitist. Honest, I don't think from head to toe my outfit is... Five hundred dollars right now. Cool. Let's all strive to be you, bitch. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know if striving to be me is the way to go, but no, no, that's, this was four hundred dollars. But nonetheless, cool. All I'm saying, come on, Joey. Dude, I, I, you know what I know? I have. I've spent more money on Megazords than uh, than, than I have on designer shit. Easily. Uh, wait a sec. No, easily. How no. much? How much would you say? You, that one shirt alone puts you above four Megazords for me. Well, you don't have four. <laughs> you don't have four I do, Megazords. I do have a couple more than four. You've spent more on fucking toys over the age of 25. Shut up. <laughs> than I have on designer shit in my entire life. Shh. I only have three oh. things that are designer. And I don't use any In your whole life. That so. shirt, that wallet. So that's what. And then I have. I have that's a thousand dollars right there. Oh, I have a pair of, of, of nice dress shoes that are from Gucci too. Oh, how much? I don't know. Come on, Joey. You know. I don't know. I swear you to God. You fucking, I can't believe All it. All these things I bought years ago. And but I still have them. I still This use is them. a boy that him and I would go and we would take a fucking, a dollar and we'd go get 10 Laffy Taffies and we'd be happy for a <laughs> Okay? Let's not be mistaken. This is a boy. Yeah, when we were eight. 
Yeah, you, you want me to go buy Laffy Taffy? Never right forget now? where you came Joey, from. Joey, never, forget where, never money. forget where you came from. Don't buy nice stuff. Just buy Laffy Taffy. Is that, is that the message you're saying. sending? That's not what I'm saying because that'll be a, a, a fucking nightmare on your teeth. What I'm saying is, don't forget where you came from, Joey. What you start making money, billionaire Joe, and now you're wearing. What What would you do if I if I know this? I know this, bitch. They were eight hundred bucks. Hmm. They were eight hundred dollars. Eight hundred plus seven hundred. That's already more than my toys. Probably, yeah. Already more than my toys. And then I and then I had the wallet, which was three hundred. Already more than my toys. And I have one other thing that I don't use anymore. Uh, I don't want to give it to someone because I don't want it anymore. What is it? What is it? <laughs> it's a like a duffel bag. Oh, so let's let's round off and say twenty five hundred <laughs> from Louis Vuitton. Yeah. Let's say twenty five hundred is what you spent on designer stuff. Yeah, that's I not have, a lot, dude. I have okay. Regardless, I have not spent half of that, Frankie. Okay, that doesn't mean that makes that me you, a better that, person. Yeah, bitch. like what do you? Saying? I'm a better person because I've spent twenty five hundred. People have single bags that cost more than that. Yes, yes, yes. I understand. Now let's not even get into gifts that you've given that it might have been designer, but that's okay. That's neither here nor there. Yeah, I've, different yeah. because giving gifts selfless. Completely understand that. I'm with you on that. But you fucking. I'm glad this Christmas I'm going to buy you something fucking dumb. No, but here's the thing. Everybody, you also have that stupid ass fucking watch that you. When's the last time you wore it? No clue. I wear it all the time. I've never seen it. I'm going to wear it to the podcast. <laughs> well, if you're, if you're not showing off for these people, who are you showing off for? <laughs> I'm not showing off. Yeah, you are, bitch. It's an accessory. You accessorize it out. If I showed up. Yeah. If I showed up with a fucking Gucci shirt or a Versace or a, or, 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 or oh, we don't like Balenciaga anymore, right? They're not... Balenciaga. Yeah, whoever, whoever they are. Balen- Balenciaga. Yeah, we don't like them anymore, right? I don't know. If oh, I yeah, showed yeah. up in a pair of fucking Bapes, you would go... Bapes? This kid's so <laughs> out of touch. It is insane. If I show up in a pair of Bapes, uh, first of all, I'm not letting you in. That's number one. If I show up in a pair of Bapes bumping Bow Wow, <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about, dude? <laughs> okay. All right, all right, all right. All right. If I show up... <laughs> <laughs> That's where he went. Designer thing. Okay. If I showed up in a in a pair of uh, 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 a YSL, in that? a pair of YSL, I don't know. If I showed up in head to toe YSL, yeah, you would say, "Look, oh, look at who's here. Who is this, Mister Fucking Head to Toe Drip?" Uh, that doesn't even sound it like me. Sound but two, like well, of course I would. Why would I not say that? If you showed up to do the podcast. Covered in YSL. All right, if, even if I had, oh, if I pulled out a fucking, um, give me another brand name. Or give me another like high end brand name stuff. <laughs> you can honestly make one up right now, and I would believe it. What's uh, what's That's exactly uh, Fendi? <laughs> okay, or uh, Givenchy. If I showed up and pulled out, you're fucking with me. <laughs> you know why? You know it's not Givenchy. <laughs> you know it's not. <laughs> yes, it is. Balenciaga and Givenchy. <laughs> Frankie, have you been inside a store or even out of the in the world? I guess the, Do you what, know? If it, what's it? Okay, Givenchy. Givenchy. Whatever. It's with the G I V. Right. E N C H Y. Correct. Cool. So what's the pronunciation? I'm not gonna tell you. Okay, I'm gonna stick with Givenchy then. Cool. Okay. That's my plan. That's okay. what I want you to do. Okay. If I if I pulled out a fucking yeah. Givenchy wallet, you would look at me and you'd go, Whoa, Mr. Fucking, who is it? Oh, starts making money. Only now. because you are, are dying on this hill that like everything I own is ten dollars or less. No. Like you're the fucking your Mother Teresa. I'm not first of all, definitely not Mother Teresa. There's some stuff there if you look into it. Really? What was uh, she doing? I, uh, look into it. Was she actually she was breaking not, that vow of I no have, sex? I'm not gonna Wait, con- what was Mother Teresa doing? The, the there's just some stuff she might have helped cover up. I I, I don't want to. Oh, uh, the church. You know. But how, how dare you, by the way? But Joey, I remember you. I can close my eyes and remember you. You're referring you. to someone who was 11 years old <laughs> and had one pair of sneakers and three pairs of shorts. You never forget where you came from. That and, doesn't mean that you just, just I want to le- sure. you just stay there. I want to. I hold on to those moments with dear heartness. Hold <laughs> dear heartness. <laughs> you pretentious. Piece of garbage. Me. Yeah. Me. Frank. You think I'm pretentious? I hold on to those moments so dear. You are the boy that I fell in love with at the age of, oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> hold on. No, no, no. Keep going. I'd like to know about this as well. People already think you want to kiss me. Now we've just found out more information. I don't know. What I'm saying is 
I hold on to the relationship that we had growing up, and I think a part of who you are now is your humble beginnings. And just don't ever forget that, bitch, because the moment you forget about your humble beginnings, you forget about me, your best friend. So I, I, so because I spent twenty five hundred dollars on designer things, <laughs> which is such a low amount, you have no fucking clue. <laughs> but you so badly wanted to be crazy because you're like, well, I have nothing. That's not the standard, bitch. Well, I want you to just remember. Does your wife have anything that's designer? No. You piece of shit. Oh yeah, that, that, that is my that is my fault. <laughs> <laughs> That's my fault. I don't think so. But she's also not the type. Like I don't think that she's like the type. If I were to show up with like designer pants, she'd, she'd probably like, throw it out, right? No, she'd be like, "Thank you," but like, but what? It's not her th- her, not her style. It's not her thing. Okay. I got her. I uh, years ago I got her a Michael Kors bag, but like that was it. What do you think that is? Designer. Yeah, but it was a smaller one. I was pretty broke at the time. Good. It was not like one of the, like big crazy ones. Big crazy ones. Yeah, they well, get like regardless. They're big, where you can like carry dogs in them and stuff like that. Well, whatever, fine. But you're a bastard. I just want to make this clear: the reason I hope you never forget your humble beginnings is because you'll forget about me and our friendship, and you know how insecure I am. Uh, c- clearly, <laughs> I mean, you're making wild like connections here. I just want to make sure that you never forget me and always keep me around and love me as hard as I love you. As hard. That's it. That's all it is. How hard do you love me? R- pretty hard. Now that I think hard, about it, put it in like, like how much pressure? It, it'll, like it'll, if you had to compare it to like an animal sitting on me, that's a lot of like how how heavy? A uh, blue whale. One. Million. One million blue One million whales. One million blue whales sitting on a on twig. Me. On a twig. Yeah. What's less? I'm trying to think of like what's more breakable than you and a twig. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That's pretty hard. That's what I feel about you. Thanks. Love you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, also, last night, what? I took a nice romantic bath. Oh, for the first time in my yourself? apartment. Yeah, I don't know. People, all movies and TV shows, people getting into like baths together. I have never taken a bath with another person in my life. Uh, I, I don't know if I. I can't remember. If I, I have, have, but it was in like, it was never mind. Say it. I don't like saying stuff like that, but I, it was one time. Um, but it was wasn't it in like, like one of those like, like a... fucking like heart jacuzzis and like <laughs> the fucking hotel where it's like we're in it the honeymoon a, suite. It was a hotel because obviously you can't in like an, an apartment tub. You're never gonna fit in that. Yeah, two people unless you're like crazy. I don't know who has tubs big enough. Like just hotels when they have like stupid. The year tubs. of our Lord, 2023. You're, it's really difficult. I have been in a tub with my wife. I, I'm pretty sure. Like a hotel tub. Yeah, it was at a hotel. We yeah, went to, yeah. when we went to. Uh, um, What's that place called? Where all the Amish were? Lancaster. We had a really nice hotel, and it was a pretty big tub. I'm pretty sure we got in that together, but I can't honestly remember. But I was by myself, and I had a little thing. You know, the wood thing? The wood thing you put across. Yeah. Wine? No, I didn't. Oh. Which is stupid. I should have. You should. I'm you really? Idiot. You missed an opportunity there. Shut the lights off. All down. All done. Music? No. Candle? Yeah. Yes. What flavor? Those are called scents. Whatever. Tomato, tomato. Uh, it was just like a linen... Thing. Oh, clean linen. Clean linen. It's one of my faves. Um, it wasn't. It wasn't a Yankee candle. It was just like a regular candle, but it like smelled like a linen. Oh, not a designer candle. No, it was just a regular. Glad candle. you didn't fucking break the bank there, Joey. God, I want to fucking punch you in the face. <laughs> um, and but then I had a I had an iPad, and I watched Ted Lasso. It's a nice little girl. Look at you! Oh God! Was it like? Is it got it, hot in there, dude. Uh, of course it does. It's absolutely. Is it one of those tubs? Because we have a tub at the house, but it's not made for a size of me and i have to like in order to get my like upper half submerged i need to like put my legs up against the wall like i'm like oh you know what i mean so like like the faucet would be pouring on your dick pour, yes so like i have do you, to do, have you done that you ever hold on let me ask you a question because now you're talking about a wild position that you're in there yes your legs go up against the wall the faucet's facing down at your my flo- dick and puss yeah well one yeah. of those well back Back, back boy pussy that's yeah. right so it is pride month have you ever turned on the water and let it just hit all that stuff like your butt like on your balls and your penis have you ever done that i i think i have but not for the purpose of it hitting my dick balls and butt what was the purpose if it has i think i so when i lived my when i was in grad school oh no this is like a yes or a no but no but it's not a simple answer when I was in grad school, I would take like two hour long shower and baths because I was living on campus 
and I had an apartment to myself. And had all the time in the world. All of it. <laughs> Two hours? Bro, I would get in, take a shower, lay down, let the shower hit me, turn the bath on, let the water fill up, turn the shower on. So I'm in the tub, in the bath with the shower coming down. It was a really great time. Why? I had a lot of time and I was sad. Right. Yeah. Oh, so you were like, I'm in the tub, I'm in the rain. I'm in the rain, I'm in the tub. Or I'm like laying in a puddle in the but street. But then also I go underwater and the sound of the, 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 the shower water hitting the water, like the tub water, was yeah. so cool. It was like... Like that? Yeah, like a fucking puddle of mud song. Yeah. Right. <laughs> puddle of mud. Um, that's, in, that's dumb, I'll say that. Well, it wasn't my water. I didn't pay for water. It was like the campus's water. So like, who cares, right? Oh, that's not the concern. The concern is the fact that you may be completely dehydrated after taking a two-hour water thing. What do you think I was doing in there? Not drinking yeah, well, <laughs> you were you, you were hydrating. I had like this? I had like you know cups or bottles of water or something like that. I, I often drank iced tea. Iced tea. Yeah. What the fuck? What's wrong with you? Why are you like what kind of iced tea? Pure leaf iced tea, black tea. Oh, you were drinking like tea. Yeah. Doesn't that also dehydrate you? Not as no, it's more hydrating than it is dehydrating. Why are you judging my? You take a two-hour shower. Um, um, when I wasn't paying for water. Now I would never do that. How long are your showers? Now? Yeah. Not 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 like because you're in a rush and all the bed. No no like, yeah. When you just have if the I'm, time. If I have the time, you know. Kids are asleep. Kids are asleep. You know, Although I shower in the mornings. I'm a morning shower boy because I want to start my day clean. I don't want to fucking go through my day dirty. Um, I would say if I'm going in and I'm enjoying my shower, fifteen minutes, 10, 10 to fifteen minutes. I get bored in there. I get so bored. I get so bored. I start I'm there for business. I'm there for business, cleaning, singing. The acoustics in my bathroom are pretty good. Are they? Yeah, very good. I, I, what's your go-to shower, like, shower song? Uh, it, like, changes. I don't have a go-to. Oh. I, I, I usually do, like, you know, I did Sunflower today, Post Malone, and... Got it. Go ahead. Please guess. <laughs> Sway Lee. Yeah. Okay, all wow, right. Wow, I'm so proud of you. Sway Lee, who's part of Ray Sremmerd. I got that right. You did. Okay. See, don't fucking look down on me, bitch. I know my stuff. Uh, Wouldn't say that. Uh, and then uh, Georgia by Ludacris and uh, Jamie Foxx. That's a good one. Okay. Um, I think Cry Mob, Field Mob. One of the mobs are in there. Mm. But yeah, I Sunflower is a- probably the newest song that you know. And that was years ago, baby. No. Uh, yeah. No. Yes. I had no. I had a game on my phone. That was like basically like Guitar Hero on my phone, uh-huh. and one of the there was a um, uh, Dua Lipa song on there. Yeah, I got you, mommy. You, you, you said you. I need. I got you. I got. I got you. Yeah. I yeah. don't got you. Well, that's what you said. That's not what I said. But you doubled down. Also, I'm a little jealous of your bath. It's pretty nice. It comes. You all bath. The way you, up. you a bath bomb, baby. So like I was taking a lot of baths at one point. <laughs> mm-hmm. it's so funny to say, but I was taking baths at one point. Uh, so like around. I remember in your old apartment, you used to tell me all the time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, and that bath sucked it because wasn't, it wasn't. It, it was so shallow that yeah. like parts of my thighs would be out, even if I'm laying down. Yeah, a ridiculous. lot of people, I remember it because you pegged me with eggs in that. <sighs> yes, that did happen. You did. Um, and my brother got me bath bombs for Christmas. <sighs> And I was like, I'll try this out. Yeah. And it's disgusting. What? I didn't, I didn't even get in. Oh. I saw it and I was like, no. And I just flushed it. I, uh, a friend of mine from college, him and his wife opened like a bath bomb company. And they sent me like a black lava bath bomb. And I threw it in and the bath water was black. That sounds not cool. It was pretty cool though. It was smelled it, good. Did you feel like a seagull in like an oil spill? I, I did <laughs> You know what I mean? You yeah. gotta get clean. I got I got out. And my wife rubbed me down with Dove soap. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> dude. That's cool. Shout out to Dove soap, yo. They're saving fucking birds and ducks. Shit out there. Just ducks. Uh, th- are they not seagulls? Are they seagulls too? Yeah. I don't think anyone cares about. Is seagulls. a seagull a duck? No. It's a 
bird. It's a bird. I think they're all frogs and toads, baby. Yeah. Frogs and toads. No, it's not frogs and toads. They're different species. Even I know that. No, no, Joey. All toads are frogs, but not all frogs are toads. Explain how that applies to seagulls and fucking ducks. Because all birds are, all seagulls and ducks are birds, but not all birds are seagulls and ducks. How are you, how are you unable to grasp such a literally completely easy concept? Are you ignoring me? Uh, now you're just ignoring me. What were we talking about? Bath bombs. Did you finish that? Oh, you were in a black one, yeah. I was in a black one, yeah, which I know you would hate because of the obvious connotation. <laughs> Fucking idiot. I'm a little jealous here. I'm not I'm not like a watch TV in the bath type of guy though. I'm not either, but I was like, this is this will be nice. Do you have you ever read in the bath? People that like I'm a read little read in the bath. There are people I have not. I want to make that very clear. No. But there are people that get in the bath and read, and it's like, you suck. You're I'm too distracted. I can't read unless it's dead silent and I'm like just sitting on my couch and there's nothing else happening. Yeah. If I'm in water, I'd be like, I'm in water and I can't focus. Also, if I get water on the pages, it's done. It's a wrap. Ugh. The book, the, the the book is going in the garbage. I almost threw something out this morning. Oh, uh, what? Besides the seven hundred dollar shirt, that I've thrown out. Yeah. Uh, but I, uh, I. Oh my god! I can't speak. I put a, like a muffin tin in the dishwasher, and then when I was emptying the dishwasher this morning, the muffin tin, I guess, it sounds like I'm saying muffington, um, but it sounds like, it, but uh, it, there was like rust in each one of the things. Oh, toss it. Gone. And I was like, well. Yeah, no, it's gone. No, but I've been bullied, so I didn't toss it. No, you should. Absolutely, you should. Uh, I'm giving you full, uh, you get my... Stamp of approval. Yeah? You can throw it out. Okay. And and get a good one. Don't get like, you know, one of those like Dollar General one. No offense to Dollar General. I should get like a designer one. I wouldn't do that. Does, does, do, does Gucci sell like... Frankie, no. Kitchen appliances? No. But you see what you just said? Do you see what you just said? You said, don't get the fucking... Get like a better one. That's, oh. that's, 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 that's not what we're talking about! All right, so explain to me how a fucking regular polo is... An Echo Polo... Is not better than a <laughs> oh, than than a than Frankie than a Gucci Polo. An Echo. Explain polo. it to me. Explain. Uh, uh, tell me about all you know about why uh, Gucci is so expensive. Tell me about the fibers, the fucking you know the spider silk farm that they have. It has nothing to do with. So that. what does it have to do? It's just about the fact that they can fucking charge yes, it, and it's a racket. Of course. So, but not all the time. Sometimes they. But there is no, no, no. science behind getting science. better, better kitchen appliances and stuff. Science. Yeah. I just bought a bunch of stainless steel pots. They're so sexy, dude. Stainless I steel. I literally was gone. horny. Bro. I wouldn't have gone with stainless steel. The new thing I, that we did no, recently. Oh, it's safer. But we went with the ceramic green pans. I heard no those. PFAS. I heard those eventually are not good. Really, they're really the stuff good. Stuff comes off. And like Teflon and stuff eventually. No, no, Teflon. Into- that's what I'm saying. Those nonstick is poison. Yeah. Legitimate. It's, it's, I think it's called like but PFAS the ceramic or ones too. I heard they're like, eventually they're like, it's, it's no. Like a, so know. like the ones that we have are coated in like an all natural thing. Oh yeah. That's what they told a, you. But didn't stainless they? steel. I mean, listen, whatever you don't cook, so they're never going to get used. Um, okay. <clears throat> but you got to make sure you season those bad boys. Season what? See, make sure you know how to use them. You need to make, get them like real hot and season them. I am not about to go down this road with you. I'm just, I just want to make sure that you know and you do it the right way. Same way, same if you get like any cast iron stuff. Frankie, what do you think? You're an idiot. If, hey, if you want to cook a steak, you got to get the pan real hot. What do you think I was going to do? Put it in the freezer first and then put the food on? No, Joey, you need to do the water test on the stainless steel. It needs to skip across the stainless steel pan in order to make sure that it's non-stick. If you don't get it hot enough, it's going to stick and it's going to ruin the pan and the food. I'm, I, I I'm just letting you know. I'm just letting you. Well, no, no, no. Patronizing me. No, no. And I know, and I know when you're never gonna admit that you fucked them up. But if you do, and I find out about it, oh my god, I'm gonna kill you. That's a big. That's a thing. big. I know. <laughs> Murder. Uh, this is an emotional, an emotionally charged. I feel like episode. We're yelling a lot we're today. Yelling. I'm hungry. Yeah. There's a lot going on today. Well, you, you know, want to kiss and make up before we before we get into the ads? We do have better help is oh. one of our ads. So if you guys are in a mood of yelling like me and Frank are and you feel like you need to talk about it, uh, you can use better help. Uh, this this uh, podcast is sponsored by better help. Um, 
and it is online ca counseling, therapy, whatever you want to call it. Uh, you can talk to a licensed therapist in just under 48 hours. They will connect you, and uh, it is very affordable, much more affordable than uh, in-person therapy is what I wanted to say, and uh, it's a great way to start in therapy. I've been in therapy for over two years. It's amazing. Just had a session this morning. Um, I feel like I've said that enough times that people now DM me and like, I hope your therapy session was good this morning on Thursdays. <laughs> Sometimes they do that. But anyway, uh, yeah, um, go check out BetterHelp. Uh, like I said, affordable. Um, I think that everyone should be in it and it's great. So go to betterhelp.com slash basement yard and you will get 10% off your first month. That is betterhelp.com slash basement yard. Uh, and you will get 10% off of your first month. So get out there and go get it. Go get some nice, uh, Go get some nice therapy, okay? Uh, and next here we have stamps.com. Stamps.com brings all the amazing services of the post office right to your computer, to your fingertips in your own apartment. All you need is a printer and a computer, and you can buy and print official U.S. postage whenever you want. 3 a.m., doesn't matter. You can do it. You don't have to drive to the post office, wait in any line, so you're saving some time, and you could also be saving some money with deals that are discounts, I should say, that only exist on the site. Uh, and we're talking about big discounts, okay? Uh, we're talking about, uh, I, I, I can't find the thing right now in the copy, but you get big discounts uh, up to 84% off of um, UPS uh, unbeatable rates. Uh, so you get 84% off on the website. Why wouldn't you do that? 84% is just insane. Um, but yeah, you can uh, avoid the hassle and get started with stamps.com today. Sign up with the promo code BASEMENT for a special offer that includes a four-week trial plus free postage and a digital scale. No long-term commitments or contracts or anything like that. Just go to stamps.com, click on the microphone at the top of the homepage, and enter the code BASEMENT, and you'll get all of that. The four-week trial, free postage, and the digital scale. Like I said, no commitments or contracts or anything. You get all that stuff. Again, that is stamps.com. Uh, you know, click on the microphone at the top of the homepage and type in BASEMENT, and there you go, folks. So there you go. All right. And uh -oh. what do I got to say? I got something to say. And you know what that's about, baby. Patreon.com slash The Basement Yard. Folks, it's Joe and I. You like Joe and I. You like the show. You watch the show. You tell your friends about it. You send the clips. Well, guess what? There's more of us. Maybe more of us you haven't seen. And I'm not talking naked. I'm talking just more <laughs> of our faces. All right? Visions of our pretty face sending you into hyperspace. There you go. Patreon.com slash The Basement Yard. You sign up today, you get these weekly episodes a week in advance, and then that second tier, oh my goodness gracious. That's where you get exclusive episodes every single Friday morning. And the summer's here, the summer of the suck. Dog sucking season is upon us. And what better way to start your weekends, Joe, and with me. Patreon.com slash The Basement Yard. Go check it out. Thank you. We got 22,000. We're doing a brunch episode. Yeah. We're doing a brunch episode. We're going to have mimmies. We're going to have bellies. We're going to have some fucking pancakes. Me, me, ooh. Bacon. Bacon. Bacon? Yeah, I guess. Maybe a, maybe we'll get Joe to drink a, a, a Bloody Mary or two. <sighs> and we'll have some egg, uh, eggs hollandaise. What is that called? Benedict. Benedict. That's it. <laughs> the sauce is hollandaise. But go check it out. Patreon.com. Have you never had Eggs Benedict? I think I have before, but like not enough to be like, yeah. What do you think about when you think of Eggs Benedict? I think of Benedict Arnold. Me that too. That trading bitch I, that fucking time. gave us up. <laughs> That's what I think about. I, I think of, I, when I see Eggs Benedict on a menu, I go, that guy that told on us. That He's fucking traitor. And that, he made this egg sandwich? That treasonous prick yeah. doesn't deserve my hard-earned cash. I have no idea what he actually did. Oh, I don't think he did. I honestly don't know either. I don't know either. I just know that the name is like... One of those names that we don't like. He's you know? a treasonous, you know, Tr tramp. Uh, Trollop. What's that? I don't know. Cool. I think it's like an old timey name for like you know like Hester Prynne. Like I thought a, that like, was like a like a British bus. That's trolley. That's trolley. I think Trollop is like a like an old timey whore. Oh, okay. Yeah, like, cool. Well, look it up. Look, uh, Google that shit. Or I'll do it. I got gotcha. you. Honestly, let's not. Let's I, just go with it. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's We're just cool going to say what we believe the word to be. Yeah. Okay. Um, but yeah, every time I see Eggs Benedict, I go, <sighs> and I've only had it once, and it was a lobster Eggs Benedict. I think that's one that I had when we were, I think I had it when we were in Key West. It was, really? I might have. I can't remember. Honestly. Yo, Eggs Benedicts are slutty. Um, they're very sloppy. You bite into them, and it's like, <laughs> here's this yolk. And, and then there's like, yolk sauce shit. on top of the yolk. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it's yoked up. That's the way it is. I actually, They're good. They're good. I, I think I, I, I'm really excited to get to 22,000 because 
Your boy likes a, a Mosi. I haven't had a Mimi in... I'm going to have one. You're going to have to. Tomorrow. Oh. I have a flight tomorrow morning. I'm going to load up. Oh, that's what, yeah, that's what the last time I had a Mimi when we were on our way to Puerto Rico. <laughs> you didn't have one. Uh, yeah, I had... I, had <laughs> I think a, we had six. I had a couple, and I was, you guessed it, drunk. Oh, yeah. I was drunk on that plane. First drink I've ever had on a plane. Was that was the you. first one? Yeah, first time I ever had a drink on a plane. I don't remember the I didn't know one. they were like complimentary. So I was just like... I, I I thought that afterward it was gonna get like tacked on to like our like seat charge. No. Oh. Yeah. No. It's nice. It's fucking game changer. Well, that's. I think that's just first class. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. I didn't know. So. Me and Frank had our flights paid for, so we were like, let's upgrade to first class. Like yeah. it's only like first 500. time I ever flew first class. It is a bit of a game changer. Huge. I you know the best thing. I don't really. I mean, I don't fly first class that often. Yeah. That was the second time I think. Oh wow. Life. Or three times. Okay. But oh, because I got upgraded one time. Mm -hmm. But I've only been in the first class three times. But. Like paying a little more for like comfort plus is worth it because you get on the plane and you get off the plane. I I, I stood up to go use the bathroom and I looked back at basic economy and I scoffed at right. those fucking normies back there. I know. And I said, get your fucking money up. <laughs> and then I walked away. And our seats were free. <laughs> and I walked away. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm very, very, very You excited. should have seen me when I was coming back from Toronto. They were like, uh, they called my name. They were like, can, can, can Joe Santagato come to the <gasps> And I was like, oh, I would have been so excited. No, I was scared. Oh, scared. Because usually they're like, these people, like they're trying to like find seats or whatever. Oh, because they so overbook it. I was like, what it. the fuck? I was like, I ha I'm looking at my seat. So I go up and I go, I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm like Santagato. And the guy's like, hmm. And he's like, oh, we upgraded you to first class. And then I was like, oh my God. I felt like fucking Willy Wonka. Like I found the golden ticket. I was like, a Willy Wonka slapping it off my hands. It's like pat pat pat. Let me make sure we're clear. Willy Wonka doesn't get the gold ticket. It's the kids that get the gold ticket. I'm talking about the fucking movie. Oh, Charlie. Okay. Fair. Yeah. Char Charlie did get it. By the way, rewatch that movie. Kid fucked up teeth. All over the place. Um, I know. Um. Also, the guy, Mr. Wigglesworth. What's his name? Slugsworth. Slugsworth. Slugshorn. Slugshorn. Slughorn. Slughorn. Scary. He looks like a skeleton he with like. The thinnest skin. He looks like exactly what I imagine Nazis to look like. I he looks like a like a like a lizard in wearing a person. If you were to put me on like the most like remote island with and told me to draw a serial killer, it would be Slughorn. Yeah, I don't. Was that his name? I don't even remember. Slug, Slugworth. Slugsworth. Slugsworth. Slughorn. Who's Slughorn then? Is that like a Harry Potter person? I think that's nothing. Uh, I don't um, know. Willy Wonka, bad guy. Well, he wasn't a bad guy. Slugworth. Okay, so who's Slughorn? Just just Google Slughorn. Slughorn. Oh, shit. Harry Potter. It is a Harry Potter. Okay. <laughs> professor Slughorn. W which one was that? Uh, which professor? Oh, my God. His name is Horace. Uh, uh, that's such an old white Oh, is bitch. that the old one that was like Voldemort's teacher that like fucking Dumbledore brings back? This guy. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was Voldemort's yeah. teacher. And like Dumbledore's like, you should come... He should come back to teach. And he's like, um, I don't know if I'm... He's the one that's dressed as a, as a fucking armchair. Right. Right? I do remember that. I want to go to Harry Potter world, dude. Have you been? No. Dude, it's so fire. We, you, you had mentioned that we would do like a like a day trip or something. Yeah. That's where it should be. 100%. And we should just, just fucking... I'm going back to Universal like For a Patreon-only episode. Maybe if we get to 25,000. Bro... It's so fun. I'm a little all the Harry the Harry Potter rides at, at uh, I don't even know. What that I is. just want to go. Is Butterbeer alcoholic or no? No. Oh, God damn. But it's fucking good. Is it? It's like a soda. I want to go and have like you know like. I want it to fuck me up though. I do. I kind of bring a little nip. <clears throat> Ooh. <clears throat> what What does it taste like? Butterscotch. So what is? You never had butterscotch? I haven't had it since my grandmother died. You were a functioning person back then. Yeah, but I just don't remember the taste. Oh, well, I mean, it tastes good. I mean, I the only way I could describe it is like, it's like asking me to describe like ketchup. Like it tastes like ketchup. It's butterscotch. No, it well, like ketchup, butterscotch. you could say there's like a hint of vinegar and sweetness and like you get like the tomato. Well, I don't really have, you know. A palate. Yeah, no, we, we do understand that. That's not what I was going to say. Yeah, you fucking Mr. Bitch. Fucking. Um, interesting how you went immediately to ketchup. Mr. Chicken Fingers. It's ketchup, it's one. chicken ketchup. Uh, and two, I don't know what that has to do with chicken yeah. fingers. Um, so uh, let's let's go. I would love to I would love to go. Yeah, no, it's a lot of fun. We the are Hagrid a little ride. Old. They take pictures of you. Oh, really? For all the rides they Guess take what? pictures. Guess what? We're moving of you. on. Uh, also the pictures are very expensive. Wow. That's a racket. So I'm I'm deciding to move on. You're deciding not to. 
I'm holding on. We're baby. a little old, maybe, to go to fucking Harry Potter World together. Negative. Really? Absolutely not. Uh, well, I will say this. Al Pacino, a little old to be fostering. Not fostering, having children. Yeah, he wasn't fostering. He's Segway! Good for Al, Al Pacino. So, for those who don't know. Al Pacino. Al Pacino. Also, you can't be too old for Harry Potter Land. I just want to go back to that for one second. You can't be too old for Harry Potter World because... He- nearly headless Nick He's a ghost He's a thousand years old He still hangs around the castle He knows it's fun too uh, yeah, So don't, don't be don't, a bastard I gotta be honest with you Joey I don't know if he has the choice To Al Pacino 82 years old Is Now having a kid With a 29 year old Yeah A little weird a little That's a little bit of a gap A little bit weird This person was not out When Scarface came out Is age just a number? Um, if you believe it, but also experience is just a lot of it, too. I feel like you shouldn't be, like, times three older than a person. Well, let's see. He's almost... No, he's not times three. Joey, what's 29 he's, bro, times he's three? He's knocking on times three. 87 would be 29 times three. He's 80 three. fucking two. Yeah, he's close enough. I just think, this is the thing, he's disgusting. He looks dead. He looks like... He wears scarves all the time. He was have, at he was at the Game Awards last year, and I and when I was watching it, he came on stage, and I was like, I'm sh-, like he'd look better as a corpse. He would look better in a casket. That was fucked up. Well, was, they do put makeup on you, Mr. Pacino. I'm sorry. He ain't watching. You think he ain't? He can't see. He's <laughs> old. <laughs> That's ageism, Joey. You're gonna really upset our 79 year old fan, <laughs> our 180 year old fan, Al Pacino, being it, yo. How? Do, I didn't know that sperm worked. Yeah, I don't. I, he's. You have to imagine in like the early '90s, he saved a load of his loads. Oh, do you think that's what it is? A frozen load? I would assume so because at, at fucking 82, what are you? What are you blasting? Just fucking cream of corn? That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, it's nothing, gotta be something yeah, like it's, that. It's just like dripping out of you like fucking maple syrup. Like, there's no way. I thought for sure your dick shuts off and your sperm's like, dude, we just they retire. I think at the age of 80, your dick just like. Puts a fucking top cap on, puts that like you know b- bag on a stick, and just like walks away. Yeah, like, it runs away done. from it's, home. It's eighty years of service. That's you know? crazy, dude. That's wild. That's wild. I, I'm good. Good for him. Uh, here's the other thing. But the, also, like we could say this. What's with the quality of this child? We Eighty-two could... year old come. Is he oh yeah, to... this baby is gonna come out looking like Benjamin Button. Well, the baby Benjamin Button looked at like a normal he baby at first. He was born old and died young. He can't be born old. Well, this baby's gonna come out and look like fucking, you know, what's like an old? What's like an? This is gonna come out and it's gonna be like a like an expired library book. <laughs> <laughs> one that you, one that you open the front and you see someone signed it out in 1958. Or one that has like a padlock on it. You gotta open it like this in order to open. Yeah, it yeah, like yeah, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. The fucking Indian yeah. in the cupboard book is gonna come out of this girl. Yeah. Or did it come out already? Here's the other thing. I'll say this. That was Native American, by the way. Oh well, the, the, I I was referencing the name of the movie, mm. Joey. All right, uh, and it's actually First Nation. You stupid bitch. Is that what we're doing now? I've lost count. If I got to be honest got with it. you. Um. Um. What were we talking? About? Oh, Al Pacino. Yeah, but like, what twenty nine year old is letting Al Pacino throw down in the kitchen? That's like what I'm saying. Listen, I don't want to. I know true love exists. I found true love. I, I believe in true love. Uh huh. But if she was 82, Frank. But <laughs> <laughs> if she was 82. If I had met my wife, and or before she was my wife, and she was 82 years old, I would say, hey, ain't going to work out. Let me ask you a different question. Where would you meet her? Yeah. yeah Where at, do you meet 82 year olds? At a park bench, just fucking screaming at a tree. She's like, well, uh, I saw an old woman feeding pigeons. And I ran over there. Yeah. Where am I going to meet this woman? Getting fucking driven in an ambulance? Yeah, I don't. <laughs> Where do you meet eighty-year-olds, dude? Where do eighty-year-olds? They don't leave. They don't. They just there's sit. There's got to be a dating app for eighty-year-olds. It's got to be called like you know like I think that's just a retirement home. Yeah, well, by the way, why do retirement homes have such negative connotations? I feel like I'd be um, down to go to one. Yeah, no, but because there's a lot of uh, unfortunate uh, instances of abuse. Both. Uh, Who's gonna? Oh, I saw a video. Physical and sexual. There's some stuff there. We might not. Oh, touch the people. That. The people. Yeah, yeah. We might. The not wanna, workers. We might not want to touch that one, Joey. Let's just leave that one on the back burner. Whatever. <laughs> um, I saw a video though. I saw a video. I think on TikTok. Of course. And it was so it's guy. real. Yeah. Well, no, it was real. Uh huh. And it was in a retirement home, and a guy was standing like this. 
right? And there was a woman, an old woman in like a wheelchair, and her did, she was facing this way, and she was blowing. <gasps> and the person was he's like, just getting blown. Bro, no way. Old man penis has got to be. Penises are disgusting as it is. They're old, ugly as shit. Old man cocks. They have to be literally see through. It's got, yeah. Ill. Oh my God. Have you ever seen an old man's legs? Yeah. And they have that one giant vein that fucking goes like this down the fucking. It just looks like sheets of paper that are uh, all see through. Uh, and you can see like layers of like freckles. You're like, this one's dark. This one's super light. Yeah. Like, what whoa, is whoa, this? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why is that? Why can I see your It's like fucking... a bunch of cheese. Yeah. I could see the blood running through your vein. Like I shouldn't see that. I agree. Uh, what are the, pen the penises? The penises. And, you, and they're not like trimming their fucking balls. Are they though? How? How, for why? It's kind of crazy that two weeks in a row we get... Al Pacino looking the way he does at 82, and mm -hmm. then Martha Stewart looking the way she does at 81. That's what I'm saying. These are about opposite sins. I mean, we, we have already established and discussed that one of those is, you know, not the standard. If anything, Al Pacino is aged. No, they're both, they're both they're not both the standard. Not. <laughs> I feel like Al Pacino they're looks both outliers. bad. Yeah, yeah, he looks bad both, for 82. They're both outliers. It's uh, uh, Pacino, yeah. Pacino's fucking, you know. He looks that, electrocuted. <laughs> He just looks like he was hit by lightning. He looks like he spent a whole day in a sauna. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? He just like just falling apart. He looks like an old mitt. No, let's not <laughs> let's not <laughs> Yeah, he looks like You know one of those old he, catcher he looks, like the old yeah, the old baseball gloves that your fucking grandfather pulled out and he was like, I caught a ball from Phil Rizzuto yeah, in it's this. Like a small web, the whole thing's like a pillow. It's like an actual glove. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Uh, the one that fucking Honus Wagner used. That was a good drop. That's a good. You like that one? Yeah. Speaking of Honus Wagner, let's wait, hold on. Let's not forget about the fact <laughs> Al Pacino is an iconic actor. Obviously, has a, 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 a myriad of just incredible roles to his name. But he's really old and disgusting. Yeah, and you're 29 and and hot. Oh, is she? I didn't even see what she looked yeah, like. Yeah, she's hot. Also, she did date. Previously, within the last five years, uh, Mick Jagger. Huh. Another old. Really old. Other side of old. Like, he looks Honest? like him and Steven Tyler. Like, if you were to tell me that that's their fucking body right there, I would say, yeah, they're pretty, pretty. Yeah. Mick light. Jagger just looks like, you know, a vertebrae. Yeah, he looks like, you know, like when, like, in, like. The chocolate from SpongeBob. Yeah. It looks like that. Yeah, but like. But like cooler hair. You know what? <laughs> And lips. He's got sweet lips. No, he just don't like that. Don't like me. Big Jagger. I like that. Yeah. He's a right. You know. He's, he's a fully. I don't. Do you... Yeah. Apparently, probably had sex with David Bowie. Fire, dude. You banging Bowie? Slamming Bowie. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Bowie, kind of. I'd kinda... paint my face like him. Oh, the fucking lightning bolt through the middle? Yeah. Yeah. And then have some weird. Mick Jagger looks like Mick Jagger and Steven Tyler look like in Mortal Kombat when someone gets dipped in like a vat of acid and the and the skeleton gets pulled out. Like a poison apple. Yes, yes. He looks like a poison when, apple. When that fucking old ass gangly witch in Snow White fucking shows you what happens to the poison apple. Yeah. That's what Mick Jagger and Steven Tyler look it's like. True, and it's just true. And it, honestly, it is what it but is. But good for them though. Honestly, what are they gonna do? Write a song about us? Oh no. 40 years too late. No one cares about your music now. Yikes. That probably be a hit, though. Uh, it would probably be a fucking fire. Anyway, um, <laughs> if one of these guys are going to, let's say, come attack your home, you could protect it with Simply Safe. That is right. Uh, Simply Safe is a home security system uh, that is great. Okay, Frank's got Simply Safe over there. I do. And you can set it up very easily. It's affordable. It comes out to like a dollar a day. Uh, they have a new smoke and uh, carbon or, or a CO detector, sorry, um, uh, that sensor that joins uh, their comprehensive uh, system here. Uh, they have 24-7 professional monitoring service. Trained agents uh, stand ready to respond in an emergency, dispatching police, firefighters, or EMTs to your door. So if you have some sort of emergency, God forbid, this system is going to dispatch them, uh, you know, because that's how they do 24-7 monitoring. Um, it's great. It's easy to set up. Like I said, it's uh, affordable under a dollar a day. Um, and there's no reason to wait. Right now, you can get 20% off your new system when you sign up for interactive monitoring. Just visit simplysafe.com slash basement. That's S-I-M-P-L-I-S-A-F-E dot com slash basement. There's no safe like Simply Safe. So go get yourself uh, you know, a new home security system that will protect you in 
uh, the events that you have on emergency. Our next sponsor is Etsy. Etsy is great. I love shopping on Etsy, especially when the holidays come around and for birthdays. It's always the first website that I go to uh, when looking for gifts for other people or something that I just want in my apartment as well. Uh, there is beautiful items that are made by independent sellers on this website, uh, and there's a bunch of things that you can buy, uh, jewelry, furniture, art, and more uh, for all budgets, any occasion. Like I said, uh, usually when occasion rolls around, if it's you know, a uh, Valentine's Day or it's Christmas or someone's birthday, I will go on Etsy and see what's out there. There's wonderful things. I know I've bought uh, a wallet for one of my friends that was made out of like a baseball jersey on this site from an independent seller there. So really cool items that you can get, really cool gift, side, gift ideas. And if you're new to Etsy, you can use the code NEW for 10% off your first purchase. That is the code NEW. Uh, maximum discount value of $50. Offer ends June 30th, 2023. You can see terms at etsy.com slash terms for home style and gifts. Uh, shop etsy.com. Etsy has it. Again, uh, use the code NEW for 10% off of your first purchase if you're a new Etsy shopper. Uh, and lastly here, we do have FitBod. FitBod is great. Uh, they use powerful technology that understands your strength, training ability. Uh, it studies your past workouts and adapts uh, to your available gym equipment. So it's like having a personal trainer essentially, but it's way more affordable because personal training is very expensive. Um, but you know, like I just said, they adapt to your available gym equipment. If you don't have a gym membership and you just have some stuff at home, or maybe you have nothing in your house, uh, they can adapt to that and it'll give you a workout plan that is catered to you and your goals. Um, and it could just be body weight stuff or whatever. And, you know, like I said, depends on your goals. You want to lose weight, you want to gain muscle, you want to do both those things, you want to just like lean out a little bit, like whatever it is, they will do that. Uh, they keep track, keep track of your achievements and um, yeah, you can learn the movements the right way. If you're not really uh, into fitness or you don't know a lot of stuff, it's also educational. They have over 1400 exercise demonstration videos. Um, so they'll teach you how to do stuff. Uh, but yeah, you can get 20% off of your subscription at fitbod.me slash basement. That is F-I-T-B-O-D dot M-E slash basement. And you'll get 20% 20, 20 off. It's like having a, like I said, it's like personal training. You can go at your own pace in the comfort of your own home if you want. Um, and it's your own goals and needs. Uh, fitbod.me slash basement for 20% off of that. So go get it, folks. Summer's right around the corner. Um, and I think that we should probably end this episode with, um, you know, we talked about Mick Jagger, mm. Al Pacino. Yes. These are, these are iconic people. Musicians. And I feel like, you know, Taylor Swift is kind of <sighs> sliding into this category lately. Sliding in. She kicked the goddamn door She in. did kick the cock. Kick, 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 kick the cock. I, I don't know if she did I don't know that. what I just said. Swifties get him. Um, no, I'm a Swifty. I'm a Swifty. I love Taylor Swift. I'm okay. I, I like her, I guess. No, I love, I love her music. I, I am, it, her, I feel like over the last year, she became the Beatles. I think that she is just like gigantic anyway. Yeah, but I didn't know. I guess I didn't have my ear to the ground and, and I didn't realize how. That's shocking. I didn't know how big <laughs> Taylor Swift was. Because reports have been coming out that her concert, because there was a whole thing with them, her her concert tickets and Ticketmaster. That was yeah, they were like a thousand dollars to like, and like they were like holding them back because all those ticket things, by the way, you know, like Ticketmaster, it, it's a scam, it's a racket. I don't know about that. I don't want to say anything too. Much. I want to say that. Okay, well, careful because we have ads that are friends. Well, um, so <laughs> I want to cut that out. No, let's there's a, there's a company that's doing that. Let's Not the company that we know. Let's stay here. You ready? Taylor Swift. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. No, no, no. Uh, it's just like, I, I feel like I guess I didn't know because there have been stories coming out about $1,000 tickets for uh -huh. like nosebleeds. Yeah. Uh, fucking like Aaron Rodgers is going, which I guess I didn't know Aaron Rodgers the was a The fuck does that have to do with anything? Well, it's just like random celebrities that you never would have known. Uh, then I hear that people are going to the concerts but listening and watching from the fucking parking lots. That's interesting. And now the story that just came out is people are, are, are fucking adults are wearing diapers. Why? Because they don't want to get up, so they just do their thing and their things. I don't, or before. I don't know. I don't know. But I don't know if I would be able to actually go in a diaper. I could piss in a diaper right now. Really? Yeah, dude. Shitting in it would be, like, a little tough. Because, like, also, like, shitting, like, can you imagine, like, shitting standing up? 
Like that's weird. Can I you? wouldn't feel normal. Uh, I've no, never, I, I, I've legit never shat standing up. That's not true. You've shit running. You well, well that's running. what I'm saying. Like I've shit like only sitting down and like in a dead sprint on the way to a sit down. <laughs> but I've never shit standing up. Yeah, I don't think I have either. I can't. I so, can't imagine I have. That's, yeah, that would be very messy. You would imagine, right? Which one? Standing up. No, I think that's less messy than shitting when you're sitting down, baby. How? I'm shitting and mushing it immediately. What the fuck? No, you're not mushing it. What if are you you're doing? Sitting like this and shitting. Oh, oh, oh! I thought you meant like on a toilet. No, no, in a oh, diaper. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, you're right. You're right. You're right. It's, it, it's yeah. yes, correct. Um, Isn't just, that weird? If you put a diaper on, it flips the whole shitting world on its head. You standing up is actually more convenient. Huh? Huh. I think that's why they're made for babies. Yin and yang. Yeah, and I guess people that are unable, you know, they're they're incontinent or whatever the term is. Al Pacino. Is. Well, we can't. We don't want to make up rumors because Al Pacino's legal team will contact us. I don't think so. I don't know if he does poop his pants. He's Al Pacino though. He's he's been through a lot. Maybe once or twice. Of course, we've all shit our pants. Uh, I just I guess I didn't I didn't know. Imagine being at a Taylor Swift concert and you hear her singing. You belong with me. It's the one I got. That's the one Slapper. I got. It is. Uh, love story. Dun, dun, it's dun, a love dun, dun, story, dun. baby. Just say yes. You just let me yeah. do that by myself. Well, I huh? didn't know if you. I didn't know. I thought you wanted your own spotlight there. But once I hear that, dum 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 dum. What what is that? A banjo? I don't know what that is. It's the beginning of the song. Oh, I I, I wouldn't be able to tell you beginning we or end of the songs. Young, we oh, I know the other one. I know. Uh, bad blood. And now we know we got bad blood. Yeah, yeah. You know, that one I know. I mean, there's a lot of Taylor Swift songs. There is. And, and she's obviously talented. I mean, <laughs> fucking duh. Mean? That shit is fire. Wouldn't be able to tell you. That's a good one. You could be making up a song right now. No, no, I, no. I no. Know. I know. I mean, You Belong With Me, you know that one. I know that one. You know, Mean. Um, oh, what's that song that I used to fucking love? I can't remember right now. I, oh, I'm gonna go through her album right now. Yeah, go through her album. I know she had an album called, I think it was like 1989, right? Yeah, and which it's is the year of her birth. Good. Yeah, th I, that's a pretty obvious one. Us uh, Swifties know that shit, bitch. Um, what do you know you about know her? Blank space. Blank space. Yeah. Now there's a blank space. <laughs> Uh, we, are, me, we are never ever getting back together. That's a slap. We are never ever ever. That's a that's a banger. Bang. Uh, twenty two is a fire one. I don't know about you. I'm feeling twenty two. People saying that to me when I turn twenty two. Wildest dreams. Wildest dreams. Do you know, lover. That's a good one. Lover. A good, wait, what was album. the other one that you said that I knew? The first one. Uh, um, uh, fucking you belong with me. No, no, no. The other one, where I was like, uh, love. Blank space. Blank space. Which one is that? I got a blank space, baby. Oh, and I'll write your name. Yeah, yeah. Uh, fuck. What is this? I guess song? I'm more of a Swifty than I thought. All right, whatever. What's good? I'm, I'm about it. Yeah, dude. Uh, but like, imagine being at a Taylor Swift concert and she's singing one of these fucking iconic songs, and it just smells like fucking piss and shit. Yeah. No. Nah, no cool. No, no cool. Not not <laughs> rad. That would be and get uh getting around those people would be so laborious. And, oh my god, that would be the worst. What are you typing over there? You writing a paper? Oh, the song is Enchanted. Enchanted. Which one is that? Um, sing it for me. You're not gonna know it. It's uh, off. Well, like just a... sing it. Just sing it. Go, go. No. Come on. Uh, like. No. All right. Never mind. I, I don't want to do. I don't want to do it. And she doesn't have a lot of like duets. I don't know her and singing with other people a lot. It's really just Taylor. Yeah, she just brings the house down, dude. Taylor on the beat. I've always liked her. Uh, and then I was real upset when Kanye interrupted her, you know, her speech for the VMA. For, I, I wasn't think. a big Swifty back then. I wasn't a big Swifty, but like I, liked I her. loved Love Story though. I remember sitting at when I was a junior in high school. I don't know if the song had came out at that time or before that. It must have been way before that. She started pretty country, didn't she? And now she's more poppy. Yeah, she was more like I'm a little Southern Belle. Well, and uh, that shit came right out. She girl, she come like me. Love Story. Taylor Swift release. Two thousand don't tell me a year. Yeah. I'm gonna get I'm gonna guess one, you tell me higher or lower. Okay. Two thousand eleven. Lower. Oh like the number lower. The number's lower. That's how that works. Yeah, That's yeah. That's how numbers work, Joey. Two thousand nine. Lower. Two thousand eight. Yeah. Yeah. Two thousand eight. So was I what else? that was a sixteen. 
15, 16 yeah, years yeah, old. Yeah. Wow, what a year. I know. What a time for us to be fucking. And you knew. I was so in love with Sam. I, I, you too. knew that we were listening to Taylor Swift, but we couldn't tell our friends because they would have called us gay. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But I was doing it anyway. I guess I just didn't. I underestimated her popularity. I guess. Yeah, I, you must have. I, 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 I didn't huge. know. I didn't, I didn't know it. Yeah. Because when people talk about Beatlemania, that's what it sounds like right now. People are like doing anything and everything to get tickets. That was like when One Direction came out, dude. People were like losing it. Really? Bro. What were if the Taylor Swift fans are Swifties, what are One Direction? Directioners? Erections? They're not erections. They're erections. There you go. No, they're not. I'm an erection for One you Direction. You know, there's, there's there's murmurs in the community that One Direction may come back. Really? Like, yeah, like get back together. That would be pretty big for me because of the uncanny resemblance I have to Zayn Malik. I'm going to fucking beat you as hard <laughs> as I can. There, there are... Uh, I, I was recently scrolling on TikTok, and I, and I came across the one where you told me to name the One Direction... Yeah, <laughs> and that's still one of my favorite clips because you I thought one of their names was Hunter. Yeah, I, and Oscar. I didn't, I didn't know. Yeah, and then you were like, "Yeah," and I was like, "I guess I like stumbled into it." Yeah, I can't believe you fell for that. Yeah, that was a that was a good one. That was a good little prank on you. One Direction was good, man. If you, what's the most you'd pay to go to a Taylor Swift concert? The, me? Yeah. I don't know. It depends. Like, I don't know. One ticket. I'd say the most I would pay, because I'm not a big a Swift. A single dude. ticket. What would like $500 get you? Right now? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Not in. But I feel like that's a that's a good amount of money for like most concerts. Taylor. I just think there's something going on with Taylor Swift right now. Like it's like, you know, it's crazy. Taylor Swift tickets. Let's see. 500 bucks for a, for a ticket to anything I think is good. Yeah, but we don't know if it's like legit. All right, let's see. The Eras Tour, that's what it's called. It if is. we were to go to a Friday, oh, let's do a Saturday in Chicago. Okay. Um let's see. Not available. Okay. Well, Frank, we just had this discussion about these tickets and I don't know what you're expecting. Um all right, let's try this one here. You're also looking on the secondary market. Uh this is correct. Yep, you are right. I know. How much how much does a ticket go for? How much does a Taylor Swift concert ticket t- cost? Uh cheapest 969, average 1237, highest highest 10,000, highest 20,000? Yup. Listen, Taylor I better Big fan for twenty thousand dollars. You're letting me on stage and fucking performing, and I'm getting a cut of whatever is. Yeah, you're, if day. I'm paying twenty thousand dollars, you better play the guitar into my face. Yeah, I wanna, I wanna. You better hit me over the head with the guitar. Yeah, I want fucking full Jeff Jarrett treatment. I want yeah. you to pull back and just cock and hit me right in the head. Cock back, not just cock. Well, cock. Okay. Uh, Taylor Swift, go give him a cock. No, while he's on that, stage. that's not what I said. Don't it say is that. What you you're said. making it inappropriate. The Swifties are gonna get you. Look at what he. Look at how he disrespected her. You should hear what he said about her boyfriend. I did. Who is she dating? I have no clue. There you go. I have no clue. <laughs> she actually just broke up with her long-term boyfriend, but she's dating someone new. Was she was she wrote uh, an album about breaking up with Jake Gyllenhaal? It was a song. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. Which song? I think it was All Too Well. Oh, is that the one about him? Oh no, that was about John Mayer, maybe. Oh, know. she remember. dated John Mayer too. Yeah. Good for her. Yeah. Really iconic. Is she a billionaire yet? I'm sure she's on her way after this fucking after tour. After this tour, yeah. yeah I don't Jesus know. Christ. She's going to do the Eras 2 tour. Yeah, or maybe she'll just like call it whatever her new album is, too. I don't know. Is her new album called The Eras? I don't think so. What is it called? I don't know. See, now you sound like an idiot. It, maybe it is. You you sound dumb. We should see how good our, our Honestly, Swift when I hear Eras is. tour, I think of like she's doing songs from every era of like different albums and stuff. But I could be wrong. I have no idea. Well, I guess... I would have a, the time of my life at a Taylor Swift concert, though. I'm sure I would have a good time. With there's not the many six songs, songs that, I that I know of. No, I, there's not many that I don't know. I would. Say. All right. Um, what is the name of the first song Taylor ever wrote, Joey? Is it Tim McGraw, "Our Song," "Lucky You," or "Picture to Burn"? I don't I'm know. guessing. How, I'm trying to. Our song is a fucking banger, though. Really? I'm trying to see how much of a Swifty you are. All right, I'm not doing this. This might be a good Patreon episode one day. You're going to quiz me on Taylor Swift? I'm going to see how much of a Swift you are, bitch. I don't really know like her birthday or personal shit, but I know songs. We'll find out. I mean, you know what year she was born? 1989. Well, if it wasn't for that album, I wouldn't know. Yeah, me neither. Uh, but yeah, she's dating 
someone who you definitely don't know. Oh, I thought you were saying that like I would be able to guess it. Is it uh um uh, is he a musician? He is. Oh. Uh is he a rapper? You no. know I don't know current raps. No. Um All right. So then he's a country music star. Wrong again. R&B. I don't know what to call it. Pop, pop I guess. Poppy? Pop. Yeah, oh, pop. okay. You're not going to know. Is know, he American? Do poppy? you know the 1975? The band. Yes. Yeah, I I I Who's the frontman? That's who she's dating. I don't know. I don't know. The 1975. Uh, I know. Uh, I know that band. I don't know many songs. Maybe yeah. if you name them. I don't. Yeah. I don't. Know. Well, she's dating that guy. Oh, okay. Well, that. Very controversial. Uh oh. Why? The fandom is split. I don't know. Why? What's going on? Well, they don't think he's good enough for her. Well, it's Taylor Swift. Yeah. And it's the the head man of the 1975. <laughs> the head man. <laughs> the mean, lead come, vocalist. Yeah, lead vocalist. Come on, Swift. Yeah. Swift. I can call you by your last name. We're on a first name, last name basis. Swizz. Sw- yo, Swizz. Do you think anyone calls her T-Swizz? I hope not. Or, or T? If she does, they're no longer around her. Tay-Tay? She's, she's got cats, right? She's got cats? That's her big thing. One of her claims to fame is like she loves her cats. Really? I think so. News to me. Oh, I knew that. I'm a Swifty. More of a Swifty than you, bitch. Nope. Uh, but anyway, I think we can end there. Taylor Swift. Shut up. You want to know what's funny? The other day I was trying to... Sing You Belong With Me And I just kept singing the beginning of Call Me Maybe Hey I Just Met You Or like the No the, the beginning, beginning? Where I, I threw a wish in a well that you threw- <laughs> I, I just I couldn't come up with the beginning of You Belong With Me And I just I kept doing Carly Rae Jepsen's 2012 hit Did you figure it out? No Bro do you remember what fucking Call Me Maybe did to this nation? Do you it, that was you don't even know because that was bigger you, than COVID. Bigger than COVID. Well, well, careful there. Bigger than COVID. Well, <laughs> you don't kill less people, but it was bigger than COVID. Arguably, you never know because you don't understand the stranglehold, the grip, the chokehold that Call Me Maybe had on sorority girls in 2012. Dude, legit everyone. I'm but but you don't understand, bro. I was pledging my fraternity at that time with Pete. Dun, 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 dun. Bro. That song came on, people you would have it. thought these people were fucking, they were going to chop their limbs off to give them away to Carly Rae. Yeah. That's good. It's a catchy tune, baby. It is, man. Let me tell you. Uh, yeah. F. Alvarez, 8085 on Twitter, D. Frank Alvarez, and all the forms of social media. And, you know, hey, Joe, I just met you, and this is crazy. I haven't just met you. I've known you for 30 years. And this is not crazy, but you have my number, so please call me. Uh, you guys can follow me at Joe Santagato. Are you angry on, with me? On all social media. I'm ignoring you. <laughs> uh, and go follow the, the show at The Basement Yard on TikTok and Instagram. And that is all. Patreon, baby! <laughs> <laughs> Patreon.com slash The Basement Yard. See you guys next time. <laughs>